Don't make me hurt you. Raising Cane's chicken, this is what you need. You need two and a half pounds of chicken breast. For the marinade, you're gonna need some buttermilk, one egg, seasoning salt, onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper, and that's it. For your chicken dredge, you're gonna need all-purpose flour, cornstarch, breadcrumbs, garlic, and sunny hot sauce. For your Raising Cane sauce, you'll need mayonnaise, ketchup, Worcestershire sauce, garlic powder, hot sauce, black pepper, and that's it. For your Texas toast, you're just gonna need some bread. I'm using brioche loaf. All I'm gonna do is, for each piece of bread, I'm gonna cut it in half, and then I'm gonna use ham spray and sprinkle on some garlic powder. For the Raising Cane fries, I'm, I'm using my own fries. This was uh, hand cut potatoes that I'm soaking in water and salt. Uh, when we get time to fry, uh, we'll drain out the water and then we'll do a double fry. First, let's go ahead and marinate our chicken. What we're gonna do first is we're gonna go ahead and cut down our chicken to tender sizes, like that. If they're a little bigger, like this, we'll cut it into three pieces. So from those four chicken breasts, I got about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. I got eleven tenders here. So let's go ahead and marinate it. First, that's going to go in there is our buttermilk. So this is about two cups of buttermilk, about a tablespoon of hot sauce, one egg, about a teaspoon of onion powder, a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of seasoning salt, a teaspoon of paprika. Almost forgot. Just uh, half a teaspoon of baking soda. This helps us tenderize the uh, the chicken. The else to do right now? Except mix. That looks pretty good. Go ahead and marinate that for about two hours. Let's make our raisin cane sauce. That's about four tablespoons of mayonnaise. We'll do equal parts ketchup to mayonnaise, a tablespoon of black pepper, or teaspoon, teaspoon. Some Worcestershire sauce, about a tablespoon worth. Half a, tape, a teaspoon of uh, hot sauce, just a bit, a little bit of garlic powder, about half a teaspoon, and half a, half a teaspoon of uh, seasoning salt. And that's it, just mix it. So it's probably a good idea to make this ahead of time because then this will have the Raisin King sauce will have time to settle and uh, all the flavors will marry and make it taste a lot better. Okay, that looks pretty good. Go ahead and put that in the refrigerator until it's time to serve. Let's make our dry batter. So, we're gonna need just about three tablespoons of cornstarch, not much. Equal parts breadcrumbs, about a cup and a half flour. Tablespoon of garlic powder, tablespoon of onion powder, teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of paprika, teaspoon of black pepper, just a teaspoon, half a teaspoon of seasoning salt. Nothing else to do now except to mix it. Our batter is ready to go once our chicken is done marinating. Let's go ahead and make our french fries. We're gonna cook these french fries at 350 for like five minutes. We're pretty much doing a double fry. So right now I got the burner on medium. We'll go ahead and cook them for like five minutes and then we'll go ahead and pull it out and then put them back in at a higher heat and then finish them off. So about five minutes passed by. We're gonna go ahead and take this out. Just to let you know, this is not done yet. I'm gonna fry it a second time. Okay, here goes our second fry. These fries are done. Let's go ahead and remove it. You can salt if you want to. Uh, I'm not going to because I already salted my water when I was uh, soaking them. So these are good to go for me. So our chicken has been marinating for about two hours. Let's go ahead and dredge it in our batter mix. Go ahead and press that really in there though. Okay, go ahead and put it back into the mixture and then one more time into the batter. That's it, let's go ahead and do the rest. If you need more flour or batter, right? Feel free to mix, make, make some more. Pretty sure I didn't make enough here, but I'm gonna see what ter how it turns out with just one coating. This one only has one coating. We're just, we're just gonna do three for now, and then we'll plate up. Okay, these will go in for about six minutes, six to seven minutes. Make sure your oil is hot though, mine's not. Our first batch is about to be done here. I don't know what it is, but it seems like every time you, uh, I make a first batch, the first batch never turns out the way I want. This is a little more darker than I want it to be. But it seems like uh, only one coating was probably good enough. Uh, two is kind of overkill. I mean, you could you could do a double coating, but I think one is probably better. 
And also, my, uh, my tenders are very really huge. Um, these cooked about six minutes. I'm gonna cut into one, make sure it's done. But I'm gonna do another batch here. Though. Second batch, hopefully this batch is uh, a lot better than that first one. Just one coating. Okay, that looks a lot better than before. So we'll go ahead and plate these, uh, these up instead. Before we plate up, we actually need our Texas toast first. Almost forgot about it. Texas toast right there. We're gonna cut that in half. I got actually only got three. We'll do it there for later. This down the middle. Okay, let's go ahead and toast our Texas toast. Cookie spray goes down. Our Texas toast. We'll spray the top a little bit. Just a light dusting of garlic powder. Move it around a little bit. Don't do this with your hand. Okay, our toast is about done. We'll go ahead and plate up here. Let's go, let's go over to the table and put the chicken on. Four. Raising Cane's chicken, Raising Cane's sauce, and their toast. Mmm.